Hi there guys, this is Nick from KRCS in Doncaster again and today I'm going to start showing you how to record audio from within your mic using GarageBand. So for this you're going to need a 3.5mm audio cable, just a standard headphone connection, you're also going to need your mic, you're also going to need to make sure that your mic has both input and outputs which connect with a 3.5mm jack. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need to set up your garage band so you can actually record with it. So if you click on your garage band on your dock, just wait for it to initialize. If you select any of these templates here, you can start using it. So for now, we'll just pick either the voice one or, in fact, let's take the piano one. And if we just give the session a name, and we'll just create the session. And let's just create new track so plus button and then select the real instrument track in the middle there and click create okay so with the real instrument track set up if you go onto garage band and onto preferences then go to audio midi you can see the audio inputs and output settings for your computer if you select audio output to built in output it'll ask you to change the audio drivers you click yes and then if we change the input setting to built-in input, again it'll ask you to uh, change the audio driver, so just change it there. Then if we just close the preferences window like so, and if we just check the input source down here, you can see that the input is set to stereo 1 and 2, which is the built-in input. Okay, so once GarageBand has been set up to internal input to select the sound source and the jack is connected, we need to find the media. So let's just take the iTunes for now. Let's just pick a song from the iTunes just so we can uh, see it working. So we just uh, we just scroll down here. We'll take this song here. Then for now we'll just start this playing and we'll just minimise the iTunes. So if we set that track to record on with a little red button, you'll see now that we've got an input signal on the two, um, the two audio indicators, but the signal is quite low. So if we use the recording level slider there, just to bring it up to a nice manageable level, you can see that we're getting a good level there. So what we'll do now is we'll press the red button to start recording. And as you can see, your audio is updated in real time to show that it's actually being recorded in. And we'll just click stop. So to hear that back, we just take record arm off, like so. If we then open our iTunes, and we just pause the song, and then minimize iTunes again, you can see that obviously we've not got an input now. So if we restart the recording, like so, and just make sure the speakers are on. When we start playing back, you should hear that your track has actually been recorded in. And that's it for another tutorial. Don't forget, you can uh, find us on Twitter. The address is coming up at the end of this.